Hey guys, welcome to another video. And uh, you probably heard that Ionity, the second fast charging network here in Europe, which was uh, built by Ford, uh, Daimler, uh, Volkswagen and a couple of others, they have changed their uh, pricing. So it used to be a flat fee of 8 euros for a charge. So it was really expensive if you had to charge only a little bit. But if you needed a full charge, then that was only 8 euros as well. So it was really cheap for long distance travel. And since it has the CCS adapters, Model 3s can uh, charge on that normally. And with my Model S, I did the CCS upgrade to be able to have that second supercharger network, so to speak, just in case the uh, Tesla superchargers were not sufficient. But now they've changed their pricing and they did a very poor communication about that, but all of a sudden they said, well, charging at Ionity will be uh, 79 euro cents per kilowatt hour, which is extremely expensive uh, when you don't have a contract. I'll come back to that later. I started digging into it, uh, just as a few other uh, fellow YouTubers have been doing, but um, it turns out that if you have a contract with one of the participating uh, brands, your prices are going to be a lot cheaper. But let's first talk about what that means, that 0.79 euro per kilowatt hour. Now if you look at my Model S, for example, um, if I do a full charge and I'm not count, I'm counting on a realistic full charge, not like a completely zero to 100%, uh, but you're a little bit above zero always normally. So then uh, that's roughly, let's say to make it easy, 90 kilowatt hours of charging. That would cost me 71.1 euros to charge at Ionity at this point. This gives me a range of around 410 kilometers my full full charge is 450 kilometers so um, that brings a total of 173.41 euros to drive 1000 kilometers now I'm going to compare other cars to drive uh, the same distance and see what that cost with the charge at Ionity now to compare it to my wife's car which is an old uh, diesel still we're looking to upgrade that one in the next few years when there's a valid alternative for that um, But that car consumes 5.9 liters per 100 kilometers. So that's 59 liters Of diesel and if I count the maximum price of diesel which you never pay it at a gas station But it's a theoretical maximum price. That's 1.57 euros per liter then that would cost 92.63 euros to drive the same 1000 kilometers so that's almost half the price than charging at Ionity with my car that's just nuts All right now these big prices as I mentioned are only when you don't have a car that belongs to a brand that has a contract with Ionity right so there are different brands like Mercedes Volkswagen um, Audi, Porsche, they all have different pricing because they all have different arrangements with Ionity, maybe depending on how big their part in the Ionity network actually is. If you look at, for example, Audi and Porsche, you have for Audi the e-tron charging service that would come down to uh, 0 0.33 euros per kilowatt hour. Um, and if we calculate for uh, Porsche, which is roughly, I got the numbers from EV database, um, roughly about 300 watt hours per kilometer. It's not a very efficient car. You do that times 0 0.33 euros times 1000 kilometers. That would mean that driving an Audi e-tron or a Porsche would be about 99 euros to drive that 1000 kilometers. Plus for the charging service, it's an additional 17.95 euros per month uh, that you have to pay as a contract fee. So if you drive a lot, that's marginal at cost. If you don't drive a lot, well, that cost is 20 euros roughly a month additionally. 
for Mercedes, if you look at um, the EQC, right, for example, you have uh, for Mercedes a 0 0.29 euros per kilowatt hour, which is the lowest of the bunch. Um, it's also a lot more efficient. Uh, so at uh, 220 watt hours per kilometer times 0 0.29 times 1000, it would cost about 63.8 euros um, to drive 1000 kilometers with the Mercedes. Now with Mercedes, they also say that there is no basic uh, fee in the first year. Now what does that mean for the following years? Is that a one-time fee? Is that a start fee that's going to apply? Is it going to be a contract fee uh, on a monthly basis or on an annual basis? Uh, I didn't find that information on the Mercedes website. Uh, maybe if some of you guys know, please let me know in the comments below, but I didn't find that information at the moment. Now looking at BMW, I've taken the i3 as an example. Uh, but for BMW in Germany, it would be a uh, 30 cent per minute, right? Which makes for very inconsistent price calculation because if you charge it a little bit faster or a little bit slower, your minutes start adding up and then you get totally different prices for two charges of the same kilowatt hours. Um, Norway is also a country where they charge per minute instead of per kilowatt hour. But yeah, that makes it uh, really unreliable to calculate some uh, prices. But for example, in the Netherlands, they do have the pricing on the website. They have a uh, €2.50 start fee, which is just a fixed fee for starting the charge. And then you have a €0.35 Euros, uh, per kilowatt hour, which is what I mentioned, uh, roughly the same as the uh, general public chargers. Only you charge a lot faster at Ionity, potentially, of course. Now, with the i3, it's a very efficient car at 161 watt hours per kilometer times 0 0.35 uh, per kilowatt hour, and that times 1000 kilometers. And then you need to add the 2.5 euros uh, fixed fee, then you come to uh, 58.85 euros for driving 1000 kilometers on an i3. Now for Volkswagen, I found some information, uh, but I couldn't confirm it on the website, but apparently for Volkswagen, uh, some information claims that it would be 8 euros 40 flat fee still. That would be the cheapest of them all then, if that is the case. Um, if they charge per kilowatt hour also, then we need to see what the pricing is going to be there. Now if I want to compare that to what it would cost me uh, to charge my car on the Tesla network when I don't have free supercharging, uh, because Tesla charges 0 0.28 euros per kilowatt hour um, in Belgium, right? It differs a little bit from country to country, but in most countries it's 0 0.28. Uh, my efficiency is uh, I drive a P100D so it's not that efficient. It's 220 watt hour per kilometer times the 0 0.28 times 1000 kilometers. It's 61.6 euros. Now that makes it a lot cheaper than uh, Audi or Porsche, but those cars are less efficient and thus have a higher consumption. And that counts into the amount of kilowatt hours that you consume, of course. Um, for Mercedes and BMW, it's more or less in line with those prices. So the prices for Ionity on those brands, it's not outrageous. It's about the same as what Tesla charges for those people that cannot um, charge for free like I'm doing. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad for those cases, but yeah, for Audi and Porsche, um, it's quite a bit more expensive. And especially if you are uh, driving any other car like a uh, a Kona, for example, or a Nissan Leaf, or a Tesla, then basically you're screwed because they will charge you the full 79 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, so that makes it about three times more expensive than charging on the supercharger network. Now we have to keep in mind, of course, that Tesla is keeping the supercharger network, it's, it's a private network, it can only be used by Tesla at the moment. Tesla claim they are open 
to other companies using the supercharger network but we don't know anything about the terms and conditions and what that would mean for the pricing to make it a viable solution for those other brands so there you have it i uh, hope you found this very useful information and if you did give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel using that button down there and uh, make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos and for now thanks for watching See you guys next time. Bye-bye.